Hi everyone, today number 18, which is today. <laughs> um, so for today's video, I'm going to explain what is the split by function because I was just telling you in the previous video that I'm using this in the filter value by conditions function from my GitHub repository. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what is a split by so you can see what this is actually doing. So if I go to the documentation on split by, let's take the first example that we get, which is this one, and put it in our data weave online play playground. So in this case, we're splitting by our rejects um, expression. So we have an IP address and we are splitting by dot and then diagonal. I believe so we're splitting the characters dot and the diagonal and this is what we get at the end we get just the numbers so 192 and then we take out the dot and then 88 we did take out the dot 99 0 and um, 24 and we end up with an array of strings because we had a string before now let's see another example All right, so in this example, we have first a dash b dash c, and we are splitting by b <laughs> and like other characters, so we end up with a and c. Then we have hello world, and we are splitting by a space, so we end up with hello and world, but there's no space. Then we have no match and we are splitting by i'm not sure <laughs> but we have no match let me see what that means okay the beginning and then just an s okay there's no match there then we have the beginning of the string then an n so there's no match and finally we have all of these things Oh, you cannot see it. Oh, well, uh, let me take this out so you can see the final one. There you go. And we end up with A, B, C, and D because we are splitting by characters 0 to 9 and A to C in um, capital letters. So we end up with just the lowercase letters and we are not having the numbers and the capital letters anymore. Another example that we can see, let me take this, put it here. We have again an IP address and then we say split by dot. So let me take out this first. If we split by dot, we end up with all of the numbers except the dots. And then we take the first one using the index zero thing <laughs> and we end up with 192. Now let's see another example. We have this whole thing. Oh geez. Uh, let me take all of this and put it in regex R to see what it means. So character set matches a dot, then positive look ahead, and then not capturing group. <laughs> and we negate the set. We take this character, so matches a character with i don't know the name of that character then we're saying match zero or more of that then we match another same character then we negate the same character and zero or more then the same character okay the, you just get the idea this is a complex thing but we end up with root sources data and then here we have test branch branch source because this is in between the these two characters that we just saw then source and then traits you can also instead of just doing rejects functions you can also just use the like a, a normal string so you can say split by dot and that will also work 
same thing for these other samples. You can have uh, just split by um, dash and you will get ABC. Split by and then the, there's a, an empty string. So it will just give you back every single character in an array. Then we have split by comma, so you end up with first, middle, last. And then there's no split here because you want to match no in capital letters. And there's nothing here. If I were to put this as no, then we would end up with an empty string because this is what is before the no. And then a split with a space. If I put the space here, I end up with just the... Um, empty string and then the split but no space because the space is included here and that's it so for the function that I was using um, if I take the conditions array which is this whole thing let me put it here um, so this is my conditions array and then I'm saying I'm just taking the first one and then I'm doing split by colon so what's going to happen is that I'm just taking the first one, which means just active true. And then I do split by colon. So I end up with an array of active and true. And for the next video, I'm going to explain how that gets on this one by explaining the filter function. All right. <laughs> I hope you liked this video. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to do something else. Follow me on socials at Devalex Martinez, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Polywork. Uh, what am I missing? LinkedIn. Well, LinkedIn, I have another handle. But anyway, follow me on socials and subscribe to this channel to continue watching more of my videos. Bye. <laughs>